hello guys it's me again amar and i'm back with another video today's video is going to be about the video that i published back around four months ago about voice meter banana and how to set it up with obs and discord for basically streaming or whatever you want to do with it so basically um i did the um audio upgrade if you guys didn't see that i will put a pop-up over here or over here somewhere so yeah i will show you guys how i set up my obs and voice meter banana along with discord so before we jump into this don't forget to hit like subscribe to the channel and let's do this all right guys so before we, you guys actually start doing what i'm doing over here please watch the video a few times because if you do what i do right now then you will lose your audio totally for your pc so first watch the video a few times so you can have a general understanding on what's going on in voice meter banana and yeah let's do this all right guys so after downloading voice meter banana it will ask you to restart your pc it's totally fine do that all right and after you install voice meter banana and restarted your pc and when you download the um audio virtual cable you it will ask you again to restart it to restart your pc again all right so after restarting your pc again for the second time you can basically start doing what i'm doing but again i cannot like stop saying this please watch the video a few times so you you know what actually you're gonna do in voice meter banana because it's a uh, kind of complicated process but i will try to explain it as easy as possible and i'll show you the um, configuration of it all right first thing we want to do is go to sounds right click it open sound settings all right and after that i'm gonna change the output to voice meter input which is audio voice meter vio and in input i'm gonna change it to voice meter output which is audio voice meter vio again all right and after that i'm gonna open sound control panel all right and over here um this is basically my headset all right the speaker is basically my headset the high definition audio device all right because i already have my focus right which is this one the scarlet 2i2 usb um audio interface as you guys can see it's a 24 bit 48000 hertz all right so i'm gonna replicate the 24 bit 48000 hertz to every single um device that i connect to my pc so for my headset i'm gonna double click it go to advanced and set it at 24 bit 48000 hertz all right and go all the way down remember the um virtual cable that we installed so this is the one all right so in playback you're gonna double click the vb audio virtual cable we're gonna rename it to discord input this is crucial step don't forget doing this and then i'm gonna go to advance and change it to 24 bit 48000 hertz all right and as well i'm gonna do this for the aux aux input which is for uh, 24 bit 48000 hertz and i'm gonna do it for the uh, voice meter input all right and after that i'm gonna head to the recording tab and over here i'm gonna double click from uh i'm gonna double click on my microphone and i'm gonna set it as two channel 24 bit 48000 hertz all right and remember for the audio virtual cable in the recording tab we're gonna change the name of it to discord output and i'm gonna change it to 24 bit 48000 hertz again and again i'm gonna do that for the um, voice meter aux output 24 bit 48000 and i'm gonna do it for the uh, voice meter output again to 24 bit 48000 hertz and after that i'm just gonna click ok and that's the very very basic things to do all right so let me explain what's going on in voice meter banana these three are your hardware input the stuff that you're gonna um, plug in your pc and then you're gonna monitor it or use it but in this case 
I'm I'm using Discord and I'm using the virtual cable for it. All right. So let's start with the basics. The first channel I'm gonna name it as my microphone, my own mic. All right. So mic Audio Technica AT 2020. And I'm gonna left click it and I'm gonna choose the microphone which is Scarlett 2 i2 USB. In your case, it will be your own microphone, all right? And please choose WDM because it has less latency. All right, and right now, um, when you talk to your microphone, you will see the um, audio level moving, but you cannot hear it on your headset. Why is that? Because we still didn't have our output configured all right so if we can see if you can see over here we have hardware output all right in this tutorial i'm gonna use only my headset i'm not gonna configure like speakers and headsets and whatever i'm just gonna do it for my own headset all right so i'm gonna click on the a1 over here and i'm gonna choose my speaker again i told you guys that the high definition audio device is my headset all right so i'm gonna pick that also i'm gonna choose the wdm all right and after that um basically i already configured the output so i can hear stuff to my headset but at this point while i'm talking you got um i cannot hear anything on my headset all right so in the um mic tab which is the first one if i enabled a1 i can basically hear myself through my headset all right so this is why i chose a1 here and this is why i enabled a1 over here so everything in this channel will be routed to a1 which is my headset all right these are our hardware input and the virtual inputs the voice meter bio all right, so in this tutorial, the uh, voice meter via will be my desktop sounds and in-game sounds, all right? So regarding to that, I'm going to enable A1 over here as well, all right? And I will show you guys why I enable B2 over here because it's related to my OBS as well. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to set up Discord as well. All right, so first thing we want to do is to right-click over here type discord and press enter and then click and left click the drop down menu and choose our discord output the one that we renamed over here let me show you guys the one that we renamed over here in recording this one all right so i'm gonna Let's click it and choose the Discord output, which is the audio virtual cable, all right? And I'm using WDM as well. And in Discord, I'm going to change my output device to Discord input, which is the audio virtual cable that we renamed over here. Let me show you. The one that we renamed over here, this one. All right? And after that, I'm going to change my input device for Discord to voice meter output. You can use your microphone directly, but I'm using the voice meter output because I want to add EQ. I want to add noise gate. And uh, the most important part is I want to mute my mic like with a single click of a button. All right. This is why I chose a uh, voice meter output over here. After configuring the Discord part, we're gonna go to Voice Meter Banana and enable B1 over here. Why? Because B1 actually is Voice Meter output. All right. All right. So keep this in mind. B1 is Voice Meter output, and B2 is Voice Meter aux output. All right. So this is why I enable B1 over here. So if I'm talking right now and if I disable B1, you guys won't be able to hear me and you will see that my Discord levels over here will be gray, not green, all right? So let me show you guys. I'm going to shut. But when I enable it, everything comes back, all right? So this is how to set discord with voice meter banana and of course before i forget in discord channel this one you need to enable a1 over here 
because you want to hear your friends through your headset all right yeah so that covers the um discord part and right now i'm gonna show you guys how i um, configured my obs and how i separated my microphone from my desktop or in-game sounds all right so basically i'm gonna click on setting all right go to audio over here change the sample rate to remember 48,000 hertz it's gonna go it's gonna be 48,000 kilohertz uh, it's gonna be a um, 48 kilohertz over here all right so in devices over here in audio devices i'm gonna disable everything remember that i told you guys the voice meter output related to my microphone which is the b1 that's what i'm gonna enable for the mic auxiliary audio all right so as you can see i already have it like vo uh, voice meter output which is audio voice meter vio which is b1 and for the in-game sounds and my desktop sounds gonna be my voice meter aux output which is b2 in this case all right so i'm gonna click over here and i'm gonna choose the voice meter aux output and i'm gonna click ok all right as you guys can see i have my like the microphone levels are separated from my desktop all right and by the way once you do this you have to enable b2 in voice meter vio in voice meter banana so this is why i actually enabled b2 over here so if i did disable b2 here and let me let me just play anything over here and if I go for this one, for example, so I can actually hear my, I can hear the music running, all right, on my headset. But the thing is, you guys cannot hear, you cannot hear the sound that I'm playing on my, on, on YouTube. So basically, um, this is why I enabled B2 over here. So once I enable that, you guys can hear it as well because i can see the levels for the desktop slash in-game sounds moving all right all right and by the way i enabled mono over here because if i don't let me show you guys what i mean if i don't enable mono uh, the sound when i talk it's only gonna be heard in one side which is my left hand side all right so to compensate that i'm gonna enable muno and now the sounds are balanced in the left and right of my headset and yeah um one more thing i just wanted to add something if you go to menu and go all the way to system settings slash options you guys can see that everything is set to 48,000 hertz all right and if you can see for the buffering wdm it defaults to 512 but i actually drop it down a notch which is from 512 i drop it to 256 and i kind of felt it has less latency a bit like it has a bit more or less latency than 512 but if i set it as 128 samples i will get a really weird sound all right let me see all right so i'm gonna use the 128 sample and oh so it's working that's weird anyways it will actually sound pretty much like robotic sound and that's maybe because the sample rate are actually a bit lower so i'm just gonna keep it as 256 because i've been testing a lot of stuff and it's been quite good no issues no nothing and yeah that's almost it if you have any like robotic sound when you configure everything up then you gotta first of all you make sure everything is at wdm and if you if you hear robotic sound then you know you need to increase your samples a little bit like a tick or two all right but 256 actually works 
pretty fine for me so i'm just gonna leave it as is all right guys so that will be the end of this video so before we end this video don't forget to hit like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video